Okay, now that we have this downloaded, we are going to install and set up our packages that we're going to use, and then I'll show you how to use our markdown a little bit. Okay, so to install these packages on your computer, you actually need to go through and delete these hashtags. That's so that you don't accidentally run lines that will install something on your computer without your permission. So delete the hashtags and then run all of this code and it will download these packages onto your computer. I'll just run one right now so that you can see what that looks like. So there are common problems. People get stuck a lot right here, so I want to go over a few of those. Um, the first one to do if your packages are not downloading correctly is to restart R. So you go up here to Session, and then Restart R, and then try running the code to install the package again. Alternately, down here sometimes it says that the package was not successfully unpacked and it might mention something about failed dependencies or something like that. What this means is that these packages sometimes use other packages to in their builds and when you download a package it downloads both the package that you designate and then all the packages that were used to build that package. And sometimes if a uh, package that is a dependency was updated since then, it might not download correctly when you just run one of these. And so if it says like um, unsuccessfully unpacked and then it has the names of some packages that you haven't heard of, you can just try and install those separately by typing install.packages, open parentheses, quote, the name of the dependency package and then run that line. Alternately you can also go over here to packages and install and then type in the package name and install there. And then finally the last thing to do if neither of those things work is to make sure that both of your R and your R Studio are the recent versions. Sometimes if you're running an old version of R or R Studio, the packages won't download correctly. Uh, so definitely make sure that everything is up to date and then try installing the packages again. And if none of those work, then you can come in and see us and we can help you out some more. Okay. Now that those are installed on your computer, you can go ahead and load them. So while you only need to install them on your computer once, you do need to load them like this every time that you use them. And these are the packages we're going to be using in this set of the workshop. Okay. Now a little bit about our markdown. So our code goes in these things called chunks, and the reason why I love doing statistics in R Markdown is because in your printout it gives you both the code you used and the results or the printout of this code, which is very useful when you want to refer back or print out your statistics for reporting, things like that. So to insert one of these chunks that code goes into, you can either go up here to insert and then click on R for an R chunk. You can also hit Control Alt Insert on your keyboard. And then finally, this one is important, you can also just type it out using in the upper left hand corner of your keyboard, there's a little backwards apostrophe, you need three of those, and then these brackets, and then R. And then notice when I open a chunk like this and there is no end dots, then it puts everything below that until it gets another end signal into a chunk. And this is not R code, so it's giving me an error because there's R code text that is not R code in an R code chunk. And so if this happens, if you accidentally go in and delete the dots, you can just type them in again, again in the upper left hand corner of your keyboard with the three apostrophes, 
and then it fixes it so that this text is now no longer in the R code chunk where the code goes. Okay, now I'm going to show you the reason why this is so awesome. I'm going to hit preview right here. Oh, first I'm going to re-hashtag out these package installs. And then I'm going to go up here and go to preview. You can also go knit, knit to word. It will give you a beautiful word printout with your R code and the results of that R code. Um, and you can also create PDFs, but you do need to download LaTeX to be able to do that. So it requires a little bit of extra setup to be able to create PDFs from our markdown. Okay.